Conversions of SI unit to its base unit. Base unit is the unit of base quantities. Examples of base units are uh, meter, that is the unit for length. Uh, second, that is the unit for time. Kg, that is the unit for mass. Kelvin, that is the unit for temperature. And ampere, that is the unit for electric currents. Now in exams, sometimes they give you a derived unit, for example, Joe, and then they would like you to rewrite this derived unit in uh, its appropriate base unit. It means they want you to write this unit in uh, meters, seconds, or kg, or Kelvin, and, or ampere. So in this slide, we are going to learn how to do this, eh? Okay, how to convert a uh, derived unit to its appropriate base unit. Okay, now let's see these two examples. Eh? In A, they want us to rewrite the derived unit Joe to its appropriate base unit. And in B, we are asked to find or rewrite the derived unit Newtons to its base units. Eh? I think we try to solve B first eh? because in A, eh, we are going to use this Newtons eh, to solve the problems. Eh? So uh, therefore, we need to know what's the uh, appropriate base units for Newton first. Now, to rewrite a derived unit to its appropriate base units, we need to know the equations of the quantities. Eh? For example, uh, Newton is the unit of force. Eh? Okay. Newton is the unit of force. Um, so to do the conversions, we need to know the equations of force. Uh, let's check the list, okay? Uh, from here, okay, we can see that the equation for force is force equal to mass multiplied by accelerations. Eh? Mass multiplied by accelerations. Okay, so let's write here. Um, force equal to mass multiplied by accelerations eh? okay and the units of mass is kg okay then how about the units of accelerations okay now acceleration is the derived quantities eh? okay so to find the units of accelerations then we need to know the equation for accelerations right okay so let's check the list again okay uh, for accelerations, uh, acceleration is equal to velocity change divided by time. Okay, Velo again, uh, velocity is a derived quantity. Uh, okay, so we also need to know the unit for velocity. Uh, velocity is displacement divided by time, uh, and its unit is meter per second. Okay, so velocity, the unit is meter per second. Okay, uh, let's close this. Accelerations, uh, okay, accelerations. is equal to velocity divided by time, right? Okay, and the units of velocity is meter per seconds, eh? and the units of time is second, and therefore the units of acceleration is meter per seconds per seconds. Eh? Per seconds divided by second, it will become per seconds per seconds. Eh? And uh, we write this as ms to the power of negative two. Okay, so now we have the unit of accelerations, right? Okay, let's plug in this unit here, okay? Meter per seconds. Uh, meter per seconds per seconds. Okay, so the units of mass is kg and the units of acceleration is meter per seconds per second. And therefore the units of force is equal to kg meter per seconds per seconds. Okay, and units of force is Newton. So Newton, Newton is equal to kg meter per seconds per seconds. Okay, so let's write here, Newton equals to kg meter per second per seconds. Okay, so let's erase this. Okay, now let's solve uh, A, A, okay, 3 Joe, 3 Joe, okay, now this is 2, 2 Newton is equal to 2 kg meter per seconds per seconds. Now 3 Joe, okay, um, so to convert the units of Joule to its appropriate base units, of course, uh, we need to know the equations, uh, okay? And Joule is the units of work, okay? Work. Uh. So let's check the list, uh, okay? 
uh, for work, work or energy, the unit is joule, eh? and the equation for work is work equal to force multiplied by displacement. Okay, work equal to force multiplied by displacement. Let's close this. Um, so let's write here work work equal to force multiplied by displacement. Okay, now you don't need to worry about these equations eh, because eh, you are going to learn all these formulas or equations in other topic. Okay, so if you do not memorize it now, fine. Like if you don't know, fine. For the time being, we just refer to the list. Eh? Okay, um, so the units of force is Newton. Okay, Newton. Eh? And then the units of displacement. Displacement is length. Eh? So the unit is meter. Okay, but Newton is not a base unit. Eh? It's not a base unit because in this question, they would like us to convert to base unit. So uh, we shouldn't stop here. Okay, and just now we have found that uh, Newton is equal to kg ms to the power of negative 2, right? Okay, so Newton is kg ms to the power of negative 2, okay, and then it's a meter. And therefore, the units of work become kg m squared s to the power of negative 2. So this is the appropriate base units for joule, okay? So 3 joule is equal to 3 kg m square s to the power of negative 2. So this is how we do the conversions. Eh? So we do the conversions by referring to the equations of the quantity. First of all, we need to identify the quantities. Eh? So Newton is the units of force eh? and force equal to mass force equals to mass multiplied by accelerations. Eh? Okay, and then from these equations, we find the unit.